In this lecture, let's go ahead and learn how to create class components in React. So what exactly are class components? Class components are nothing but they are simply ES6 classes. So similar to a functional component, a class component can receive props and they can return HTML. So let's go ahead and create a new component, which is going to be a class component. So I would go inside the components directory, create a new file, and let's name this class component as message.js. And once we have this particular file set up, the next thing which we are going to do here is that first of all, we are going to create a simple class here called as message. So I would say class message. And there we go. Here we have a simple ES6 class. Now the question is how exactly to convert this simple ES6 class into a React component. So in order to do that, we have to make this particular class extend component from React. So here you need to say extends, which means it needs to inherit from the component class. So I say extends component. And when I do that, it's actually going to inherit from the component class. But now the thing is, we actually have to import this particular component class from React. And the way to do that is you go ahead and say import. And in curly brackets, you say component. So we import component from React. And once we do that, now this particular class which we have declared here does not simply remain a simple class but instead it actually becomes a react component now the next thing which we need to do is that as we all know whenever we have a component in react we always need to make that component accept a prop and return some html so the question is how exactly to return an html in functional components, you could simply create a function and you could make that particular function return some HTML. But as this is a class, you cannot directly go ahead and make this thing return some HTML. And therefore, every class component which you create must have a method called as the render method. So inside this particular class component, we will create a method called as render. And this render method is going to be the one which is going to return some HTML. So now in here, we could make this thing return any sort of HTML. So let's say I want to return a heading and I want to say something like this is a class component. I would simply go ahead, save that. And now the class component is created. Now, just as we export the created functional component, we also have to do the same thing with the class component as well. So I would say export default and then the name of the class component, which is message. So once this thing is exported, we are good to go. Now, once this is exported, I would now go inside the app.js and import that component up over here. So I would say import message from dot slash components slash message and I would add that particular component right below the hello component which we already have. So here I would say message use a self closing tag here and as soon as I add that and if I go back to the browser as you can see we get the message component here which is the class component. So this is how you could go ahead and create a class based component. Now once we have understood how to create a function component and a class component, the next thing which we need to understand is what exactly is this code which is returned by both of them. So as you can see, we have said that both of these actually return some HTML. So it returns some HTML here. It also returns some HTML here. But although if this code looks like HTML, it is actually called as JSX. So every React component accepts a prop and returns something which is called as a JSX. And we will discuss what exactly JSX is in detail in the upcoming lecture. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.